I am so ready for some cooler weather because yeah, I am sweating after bringing all of this inside. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and today I am sharing a a very expensive Costco haul. Over a thousand dollars, that's crazy. Have never spent that much in store before. But if you guys did not know, we just moved, we picked up some items and I'm gonna share them all with you guys. And I didn't bring all this in by myself. <laughs> My husband helped me. I mainly just set everything up, but still very, very hot in South Texas. So let's get into this Costco haul and I will be popping up prices so you guys can see what everything costs individually. Okay, here's the best overview I can give you guys. <laughs> because we are still unpacking, like we just moved in, only have been here for one night, so got boxes everywhere. But this is everything. Let's start down here. I did get a pack of LaCroix. This is the, I think they're calling it their winter mix or something like that and this is on sale right now at costco so the price that you guys are seeing on the screen is not what it is normally that is a discounted price then let's just pop over here i did get some clorox bleach um, i actually have a tub in the master bath that has jets in it and i really want to clean those out before i use them so picked up a three pack if you guys missed the house tour i will have that linked up in the i cards for y'all okay so let's get into some of the food i got some driscoll's blueberries everybody loves blueberries and then this won't last more than let's say three days and that's generous in my house so i got the organic driscoll strawberries I have not picked up these tomatoes before. Typically, I pick up that big container of the cherub tomatoes, but these just looked really good. They smell really good also. So these are the Flavor Bombs cherry tomatoes on the vine. Also got a bag of the sweet pepper mix, the mini peppers. These are great if you put a little cream cheese in them, add bacon or no bacon, and pop them in the, uh, I use my Ninja Foodi, but you could do like a toaster oven or your air fryer, whatever, super yummy. All right, have not tried these before, but thought my kids might like them for their lunch boxes or snack after school or something. Stretch Island, and I know the girls are going to love the mermaids on them, but they are just fruit strips. There's 48 in here, so this should last a while. They're gluten-free, organic, zero added sugar. So I got those. This was on um, sale as well, the Tillamook Medium Cheddar Snack Portions. There's 52 in here. So we love snacking on cheese. It's definitely a go-to like mid-afternoon or also in lunch boxes. I love to prep pancakes ahead of time for the family and keep them in the freezer. So I have purchased this before and we all enjoyed it and it is the Paleo Birch Benders um, Pancake and Waffle Mix. You just add water. I also add, just to change it up, the Simply Syrup, just different flavors, birthday cake. I have some pumpkin spice syrup, so I might do that, make some pumpkin spice waffles. And that works out amazing with these mixes. My kids absolutely love it. Got the dry roasted macadamia nuts for my husband. He loves taking these for a little snack with his lunch. There is a fly. That's what happens when you move, right? You leave the door open when you're bringing everything in and then you got flies in the house. So hopefully they're not here for too long. I went ahead and got the huge pack. There's three 11 ounce packages in here and these freeze very, very well but um, they should last. I should not have to put them in the freezer, we'll see, but my kids love turkey. Like they love turkey over ham, chicken, any other type of lunch meat. So this is the Naturals Slow Roasted Turkey Breast by Hillshire Farm. Then we got some Dyson White Meat Panko Chicken Nuggets, and these are on sale as well. And this is a big bag. I mean, everything is a big bag at Costco. You guys know that, but this is a five pound bag, so that will last us quite a while. This is another new thing that I have not tried yet, but I've seen other people people haul and they have said that it is super yummy. So I wanted to give it a try. I have some yogurt in the fridge that I need to um, finish up before I don't want to have to toss it out. So I figured to change things up, I would get some granola to add to it. This is Autumn's Gold Grain-Free Granola. It's almonds, honey, pecans, sunflower seeds, coconut, vanilla salt, and cinnamon, and that's it. So it looks really good. Then another new thing I got, this looked good as well, and we love 
Mexican type dishes and tacos. I mean all sorts of stuff quesadillas in this house So this is a cilantro lime type dressing. There's two bottles in here. Let's see. They are two 16 ounces so that I'm excited to try that because a lot of people rave about it. Then my oldest daughter loves almond milk. So I went ahead and got this. I did not do a price compare on this but I'm pretty sure it's cheaper um, because this was on sale for this month. So I think when it's not on sale, it's not cheaper to get it in bulk at Costco, but if it is on sale, it's cheaper. So I just need to double check that. But this is three half gallons of the Silk Organic Original Almond Milk. So it's not flavored or anything like that, and that is what she prefers. All right, before we get into anything else, I do have a few things on the floor. <laughs> so got my dogs two new dog beds. They prefer these bigger ones, but they did not fit in the house that we moved from. We had to buy them really thin ones and we could just tell that they weren't enjoying it. They would move around all night. So we're hoping that these really big ones work out better and that they love them more. <laughs> so we got two dog beds and then we also get our dry dog food from Costco. So we got that and then we do have one cat. So we went ahead and got some kitty litter as well. All right, back to some food. So the, um, what is it, the Starbucks? Yeah, the Starbucks K-Cups are on sale also, but we opted to get this one this time, and this is the Keurig Genuine K-Cup Pods, and it's the Coffee Lovers Collection. So it's got some Columbia Hula by Laughing Man, Tully's Hawaiian Blend, Newman's Own Special Blend, Donut Shop Regular, Green Mountain Dark Magic, and then what is that, Caribou Coffee, um, the Caribou Blend. And there's 12 of each kind, total of 72 in here, and these were on sale. And then these were on sale also, and it is the Pirate's Booty. So I don't know. I think I've purchased like just a big bag before of the Pirate's Booty for the kids and they liked it, but I've never purchased the individual packs. But I think it says good for Yar lunchbox. That's what I'm intending these for is for the kids' lunchboxes. So went ahead and got a, uh, what are there, 40? Yeah, there's 40 in here. So that should last a while as well. And then this, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm totally gonna make this either typically we do pizza for halloween but i saw these maybe we'll do them like halloween week but these are pumpkins and bats ravioli so it's just the festive shapes it's your basic ravioli though it's got ricotta mozzarella parmesan and asiago cheeses mixed in there but yum i don't have any sauces for it yet but that'll be another haul all right, completely out of bread. So I went ahead and got the two pack of the Dave's Killer Bread. This is the organic 21 whole grains and seeds. You guys can see some of the, let's see, the glare from the, the light is not helping any, but there's some of the uh, nutrient information on there and it is two loaves. All right, this is definitely a splurge and like a treat to get this instead of natural peanut butter, but this is really good. We've purchased it before. All of us love it. Even the kids enjoy this as well, like peanut butter and honey sandwiches or something, but it's Netso mixed nut and seed butter. But like I said, it is a little pricey compared to just plain old peanut butter. So it's got cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, hazelnuts, pumpkin seeds, and then Celtic sea salt in it. All right, I was completely out of spray, so I went ahead and got the two-pack avocado oil spray. Got that. And then we have a lot of chicken in our freezer. Like, you guys are not going to see me buy much meat for a little while because my freezer is jam-packed. However, for lunches, I've really been craving some tuna fish, some like easy go-to, just with a spoon or a fork, a lunches. So I went ahead and got this. This will last us a while. What is it, 12? Yeah, there's 12 cans in here, and it is the Wild Caught Tuna Chicken of the Sea Chunk Light Premium Tuna in Water. So that will be for lunches. All right, you guys, my kids are obsessed with kolaches. <laughs> so I figured this would be a quick and easy filling breakfast for them. I'm gonna whip up some scrambled eggs on the side and that's what they can enjoy for uh, breakfasts or maybe like a quick, cause it's easy in the microwave, a quick afternoon snack, just one, I don't know yet, but my kids absolutely love these for breakfast. So these are the kolaches, sausage rolls. It's hardwood smoked sausage with real cheddar cheese baked in an artisanal dough. So I got those. Paper plates are a must with large families. I don't know about y'all, but even with a dishwasher, 
No, not all the time. I'm not using plates all the time. So we definitely need to keep some paper plates on hand. And then I did get some more snack items for the kids for either after school or lunch boxes. The Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. We have gotten these a couple times in our variety fun box and the kids absolutely love them. So I went ahead and got the variety pack. There's 36 and I think each pack comes with two squares. It says twin packs. So there's 12 raspberry, 12 blueberry, and then 12 original fig in there. And then the kids absolutely love these the last time, so I did pick them up again. And it is the Annie's Bunny Snacks. So this is 36 pouches. There's 18 of the Bunny Grams. It's got chocolate chip, chocolate, and then honey grams mixed together. And then 18 of the Cheddar Bunnies, which is very it's like a goldfish substitute. So got that. This big bag is, I needed some mixed vegetables for when I make the dogs their homemade dog food to go with their dry food. I kind of mix it around. So I went ahead and got a big bag of the organic mixed vegetables. There's carrots, sweet corn, peas, and green beans in here. And then I also actually have a chicken in the crock pot right now cooking for them for this coming week. And I just take the chicken and I mix this in it. Sometimes I mix rice in it, sometimes I don't, it just depends. Um, but this week is just gonna be the chicken and then some of this and this should last me I'm thinking at least a month if not more um, at least four weeks of meals for the dogs mixed with the chicken all right my husband got this to eat on um, he's definitely on a stricter healthier diet than I am and the kids so this is totally gonna be for him for snacking I, this I might take a couple of these to have with my tuna fish we'll see but this is the 4505 fried pork rinds in the classic chili and salt okay we all love cucumbers so I went ahead and got the three pack um, I wasn't really looking for organic in the cucumber because my kids don't eat the peel anyway. I don't know why they always just take it off, but got a, got this because they didn't have regular, but organic, there's three of them in here and we love cucumbers. We go through these like crazy as well. Got some vinegar for laundry. I already have one that I keep in the kitchen for like rinsing off my produce and the dishwasher, but I wanted another one to keep in the laundry room for our laundry. And then speaking of dishes and laundry, the downy is on sale right now at, at Costco. So I went ahead and got that. And then we did not have any jet dry. So I went ahead and got the jet dry for our dishwasher as a family of six with, I don't even know, four and a half bathrooms in this house. We definitely needed some toilet paper. So this is on sale as well. And in here are 30 jumbo rolls. So this should last us a while as well. And then who doesn't like Cottonelle flushable wipes? We are definitely a wipe house. We like them. And it's definitely nice to have these when you have younger kids. So went ahead and got these. There's 10 56 count packs in here. So that should um, last us a while as well. And then with all the cleaning I've been doing, I am completely out of Clorox wipes and I love the Clorox wipes for the bathrooms. Um, and then the kids, when they're helping me clean, they these are just easy for them to use and wipe off the sink and you know be done with it. So went ahead and got the, how many are in here? Five, yeah, five tubs in here. And then for our electronics, my husband likes to use the compressed air. Let's see, these are called what, instant dust remover compressed gas duster um, for our electronics. I think I already said that. So we got the six pack and then we all use the Oral-B battery operated toothbrushes and these get pretty pricey, but they're on sale right now. So we always like to pick them up. We were thinking about buying two, but I think they go on sale fairly often at Costco. So we went ahead and got the um, nine refill brush heads and then the tape is on sale also. And as you guys know, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas. So I went ahead and picked up a pack for presents and all that good stuff. And then, all right, my girls, you guys are gonna see our big purchase in just a minute, but we are actually upping their bed size from a twin to full size, just so it grows. It stays with them longer as they grow. Um, and we got them new sheets and I got a Jojo Siwa sheet set at Walmart and it didn't come with a blanket. Um, and I almost bought the blanket at Walmart, but I remembered that I saw somebody else show these in their Costco haul and they're like $7 cheaper. So I'm glad that my Costco had it for a little cheaper than the one at Walmart. So I got the oversized plush throw to go with her sheet set for when she has this on her bed. Cause Pearl, if you guys don't know my daughter, Pearl absolutely loves Jojo Siwa. Um, got some dishwasher packs for the dishwasher and we have tried the Kirkland brand before and we love it. Definitely works just as well as name brand. 
All right, this was one of our more expensive purchases. So if you guys saw the house tour, you got a little glimpse of our master bath, but the shower head is very, very small and you can't turn it or anything like that. And I just love having a nice big shower head with the water just cascading on me. So we went ahead and got one to upgrade it. And this was the Moen Magnetex. It's actually really cool. So I'll definitely share this again later on once we get it installed and all that in like a vlog type video. All right, more stuff on the floor because I couldn't fit this on the table. So Costco is definitely the cheapest place or one of the cheapest places to find doormats at. And these were what, 15 bucks? I think $14.99 or something. So I did get one to go by the back door, not inside the house, but outside the house. And then until I'm on the hunt for something specific for my front porch area, but until then I need a mat down and our door, our front porch is a little bigger. So I needed an oversized one. So I went ahead and got one for the front as well. And last but not least, this was a big chunk of our thousand dollar total. So these were $1.99 each. Um, and then, like I said, we are upping the girls' bed sizes. They had a twin, but since they have their own rooms and we don't wanna do bunk beds, we thought getting a full size that will grow with them as they grow and while they're younger, when they have friends over and stuff, they can easily just have sleepovers in their beds and all that good stuff. So we did get two full size mattresses um, from Costco. So we need to get these opened up and airing out because I think it takes what, like 24 hours maybe? for it to fully unwind, we'll see. But they've got twin mattresses right now to sleep on until these ones are ready. All right, I tried to talk as fast as possible, but also explaining why we get things because that's what I like to do in these hauls. I feel like it definitely lets you guys know why the reasonings I buy things and what we like, I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first like stock up the house Costco haul. Hopefully we will never spend that much at Costco again. That's crazy. But the mattresses alone were $400 of the $1,000. And we got dog beds and all that other shower head, a few expensive things, that stuff definitely adds up. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have people in your family or friends that like to shop at Costco, make sure you share this video with them so they can see what all is available if they are looking to go shopping anytime soon. They do have a few good coupons and sales at Costco every single month month and they change. So I shared a few of them for October with y'all today. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.